Hello friends, so recently I've been recording a series of videos about how to build mobile applications with Ruby on Rails and Turbo Native, but it is now outdated. Why? Because just a couple of days ago, uh, Hotwire Native has been released to replace Turbo Native. Now, what's the whole point of this replacement? Well, basically, when you wanted to start building the Turbo Native, you would need to go to the like Turbo iOS repository. Uh, you would use this as the base of your application, and then you would need to install the Turbo Navigator uh, extension. You would possibly want to use this uh, pull request that hasn't been merged in uh, like a year into Turbo iOS, and then on top of this, you would want to install Strata. And the whole starting out approach was really not straightforward and. Uh, the idea of Hotwire Native is to merge uh, Strada, Turbo Navigator, and uh, Turbo into one uh, uh, starting application so that uh, it has some conventions and you don't have to break your neck each time you try to start a new um, Turbo Native application. So basically, Hotwire Native is the combination of Turbo Native, Turbo Navigator by Joe Mazzalotti, and of Strada. So um, in this episode, we're going to have a look at uh, Hotwire Native. We're going to start an application with it. So here we have this uh, Hotwire Native uh, iOS uh, repository. I have just cloned it locally. And inside we have this uh, demo. So I will navigate to demo. And inside we have a few different uh, files. Now demo Xcode project file is the one that we can open with the uh, Xcode. The, a tool for basically developing uh, iOS applications. So uh, if you don't have Xcode installed, do it now. Assuming you have Xcode installed, let's keep going. So uh, I'm going to write open and I'm going to open demo.xcode project. This is going to open uh, Xcode editor. Here it is. And here is the demo application. Now let's have a quick look at this application. We have uh, okay. We have uh, it pointing to the remote URL to this URL. Let's open this thing in the browser. So this is more or less the same application that was used for the example of Turbo Native, uh, and we're going to see how we can navigate this application on a mobile application. So uh, we have a couple of examples. So by default we're pointing to the remote URL, but we can also point to local URL. Let's have a look at this scene controller. It's like the scene delegate. And here we have uh, the root URL that uh, uses the one from demo.current that is remote, this one. Then uh, we use path configuration. So path configuration is this uh, JSON file that defines some behaviors in our application. Uh, then we have uh, some uh, bridge components, previously strat components already installed in this application. So form component, menu component, and overflow menu component. Um, an example for authentication, an uh, example for using uh, native pages instead of our own pages. And uh, yeah, here we... Here we basically define, configure bridge, configure view controller, and here we uh, use them. Okay, we also have this app delegate file where we can add some uh, settings for our application. So button display mode minimal and so on. We will go deeper into it later. Anyway, let's try running this application. I'm going to click on this run button and it is going to open a virtual iPhone and it's going to run this application as a native app on this virtual iPhone. So uh, here we can kind of see the progress of the installation on top. It can uh, take a few seconds. And importantly, so we have this like demo application, but we also have the Hotwire native iOS library set up on this project. So if you go to the like project settings, here, package dependencies. Oh yeah, well, we don't have it in package dependencies because it is in the same file system. But uh, yeah, this app, uh, this demo app depends on the Hotwire native iOS library. Okay, it's launching, it can take a while. 
Okay, wonderful. So the application is running. So basically we have an iOS wrapper that just serves this uh, remote URL. We can uh, try navigating. You see, I have this uh, demo application running. I will click on it. I open the application and we can uh, play around with the navigation. So let's try opening a page in a modal. You see it opens in a modal. If we try to open this page uh, in the browser, you see it is slash new and uh, our native application knows that we want to open slash new in the modal. Why is that? Because in this path configuration, we have set up all the slash new pages open up in a modal and we cannot pull to refresh. So like pulling will not refresh. Okay, let's uh, have a look at some more navigation patterns. So navigating to another page, you see the navigation gets uh, stacked. So I can uh, click back or I can swipe to the left and it will uh, navigate me back. Then uh, there are different types of navigation. So advancing, you see now I have two stacks of navigation. There is uh, replacing, so I click replace and the navigation was uh, not stacked. You see, that's just one level of nav navigation. Then you see that there is this native uh, loading animation. So uh, scrolling around, going back to the same point uh, on the screen after going back, then the native error page. And uh, yeah, let's try opening an external link. You see it uh, tries to open an uh, in-app browser. So it's kind of opening a browser in a model as you would have with many modern uh, applications. And uh, the user is still inside your application. He doesn't uh, open it in actual browser. And uh, bridge previously Strata components. So here is an example of a form component instead of uh, displaying the submit button on the bottom as we would have it, uh, let me go back, as we would have it here. So here you see in the web application, we have the submit button on the bottom and it submits. And here in the, the native application, we are hiding the web submit button. Instead, we are displaying a submit button in the top right corner and by clicking submit, it actually submits the hidden uh, uh, web button. So this is a native button. And uh, to see how this native button works, uh, we have this bridge folder. Here we have the form component. Here is all the code needed to make this uh, native button work on the uh, iOS side. And if we open the, the source code of this uh, web application, we will be able to see how stimulus is set up. Let's uh, go back to hot fired. And here we have this hot wire native site. And uh, we will look for form. No, maybe not hot wire native site, but uh, hot wire native demo. Let's see. Hot wire native demo. Yes. So here we have this uh, bridge form controller. So in our web application, we have this form controller that uh, matches this form component inside uh, our iOS application. And uh, we also have, uh, we also have, uh, I think an app delegate do we configure bridge? Yes. So here we have a list of, uh, we need to have a list of all the uh, bridge components that we are using. So here we create them and here we have a list. Okay, going further, let's uh, go back to this application. So we have this uh, form component that uh, submits a hidden uh, button. We have this menu example that opens a pop pop menu on mobile and uh, let's see how it works on the web. So here we have this menu, it's like a dialogue. 
And there's also an example with the uh, overflow plus menu. So you see we have this uh, three dots and these three dots open the same kind of menu. It looks really nice with the three dots in my opinion. Let's try it here. Here it looks the same as uh, just a dialog. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think uh, this is a very good starting point. So uh, we have this uh, demo application. You can try running this demo application on the local host by just uh, setting this, for example, to localhost 3000 and using local instead of uh, remote. You can uh, try looking at the uh, Hotwire native demo, this one, and uh, copy these uh, stimulus controllers into your application. And um, let's also see where it is applied. So let's go here, form.egs. And here's the example of actually using this uh, stimulus controller with HTML to make this uh, to display the form and to make it uh, work as uh, with a native submit button on mobile okay i think that's it for this episode uh, we had a basic overview of uh, the native and in the next episode we are going to run it in a, a rails application